Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man. I got a special one for you. I deleted one that I was going to upload just to put this one on here. So people have been commenting on my video about uh, unsubmissive wives. Um, and they've been saying everything from you don't submit to everybody. And listen. You, if you marry a man, unless you are a, you worship darkness, we'll just say. If anything about you believes in the most high in the Bible, then you know. You know that when you take a husband, you're supposed to submit, you're supposed to be subject to him. There's no negotiation. There's no exceptions. Any man that lets women not submit to him. And doesn't try to correct them, uh, confront them, and even in some cases leave them alone, then you're not being the alpha. You don't have to be a quote unquote alpha to have alpha tendencies or alpha mindset. The reason why sin was able to come in the world in the first place is because Adam was not being alpha. If he was being alpha, he would have checked Eve right then and there. He would have told Eve, listen, the Most High did not put you on this earth to be down here disobeying them. And he would have, he would have corrected her. And he wouldn't have ate the fruit itself. He was being a sip. And therefore, he went along. And all the trouble we see is a byproduct of him going along with an unsubmissive wife. The, the dots are your wife submits to you. You submit to the Most High. And by her submitting being subject to you, it's really her submitting to you and the Most High. A lot of people wonder why they can't get over the top. You have relationships but yet you have discord. You have division in your relationship. When you can't reconcile that division, you need to just go your separate ways. And stop. When you see these preachers getting divorced, you don't know what's going on in their house. Stop trying to judge them as if they bad. I got a video that I did a long time ago. I have yet to upload it talking about the other side like you don't know always know what be going on in these preachers household if a preacher is 30 40 that little going without sex that's not the will of god you don't know if his wife is sex striking him you don't know if his wife is using sex as a punishment or a reward which a woman who's subject that ain't that ain't even up for negotiation he tell you to drop them draw you drop them draws, headache or not. These women, they want to dominate men. They want to run stuff. They want to make the decision. Get out of here. Are you a man? The Bible says the head of every woman is the man. So this one is entitled. Isaiah 4 and 1 is going to happen. It's going to happen. Between the year 2030 and 2035, polygyny is going to be legalized. And it's not going to be frowned upon all you women. I got to be the only one, but you're not submissive. You sex strike. You use sex as punishment and reward. You don't keep yourself together. Like, even when you get old, you still should be taking care of yourself to the point where you still can drum them draws at, at 70 if need be. See, I'll be looking at these, some of these women like, no, they're not, no. So Isaiah 4 and 1 says this. I'm going to read to verse 5. It says, for seven women will take hold of one man on that day, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own clothes. Only let us be called 
by your name. Take away our disgrace. The disgrace is OnlyFans. The disgrace is the residue of all these pornographic sites, the free porn, they on there opening up and some women do free porn trying to monetize themselves and some of them do it because they just like the fact of men lusting after them. But that's the disgrace. Verse 2 says, On that day, the branch of the Most High will be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth will be the pride and beauty of the survivors of Israel. And it will come down, come about, that the one who is left in Zion and remains behind in Jerusalem will be called holy. Everyone who is recorded for life in Jerusalem is talking about the book of life. Verse 4. When the Most High has washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and purged the bloodshed of Jerusalem from her midst by the spirit of judgment and the spirit of burning, then the Most High will create over the entire area of Mount Zion and over her assemblies a cloud by day and smoke and the brightness of a flaming fire by night, for over all the glory will be a canopy. And there will be a shelter to give shade from the heat by day and refuse and protection from the storm and rain. And what is these verses say? These verses are telling you what's going to happen. Hasn't happened yet. All of this, having sex with all these guys, getting loose. You're talking about, he little, he little. Okay. Well, some of these guys, you know, if you weren't so big, see, it was intended by the Most High for a woman to lose her virginity to her husband and, and give him sexual pleasure and, and birth children to him. But what do women do? Some women, their whole intention is to be getting child support. They say, well, I want a, I want a high-value man so you can get him with alimony and child support. That is the disgrace that the Isaiah 4 and 1 is talking about. And God is going to judge you. And he's going to get in these men's head. And these men are going to wise up. And they're going to stop marrying y'all. Using the family court. People getting homeless because of that. The Most High is going to judge for all of that. And women cheat. Get caught cheating. She go to court and she get rewarded. No. That's the filth of the daughters of Zion that Isaiah chapter 4 and 1 is talking about. And judgment is coming. Because pretty soon, ain't nobody going to want you. And you young girls understand that what you're doing right now is going to determine whether or not you get married, you get chose. You're going to have five, six kids by a bunch of dudes who... Don't even work, have them going to be in prison because they've been poorly raised themselves. They don't know how to father and, and wed women. And some of these women, you, you don't wed them. They're not ready. They're unstable. So that's what Isaiah 4 and 1 through 6 is talking about. Judgment is coming for all of that porn, all of that promiscuity from your women all of that unsubmissiveness he told you that a meek and quiet spirit is a great price in his sight you you arguing you at family barbecues fronting your husband off you acting disrespectful toward your husband in front of your relatives now they disrespecting them because you disrespect them judgment is coming he going to wake up one day, he going to leave your butt alone, and you're going to be tearing him off the first couple years. Then your, your payment's going to stop. He going to rise up. He going to do better for himself, and you're going to be in poverty. That's the disgrace. The disgrace is poverty. The disgrace is filth. Nobody ain't going to want you. You ain't going to, ain't nobody going to want you, and you, you, you want to be on your best behavior. So when you start getting older, then you'll have a guy that respects you enough to take care of you. You don't be in shape. Your legs be all messed up. He'll be wheeling your butt around because he respects you because you respected him. Then you running him off. 
talking about, eh, I know a lot of guys just going to want me. Yeah, there's a lot of women out there right now saying the same thing. And there's more single women now than ever before. And you, you, got, you got all these intellectual guys just teaching guys about women on YouTube. They wising up. Your little games ain't going to work. Your little games ain't going to work. Because for one, there's other women like you that are spread for some money. They spread for bread. They're going to spread for the bread. So all of you women with all this arguing, all this fighting, you bringing your brother on your husband, you just drama. Guess what? Guys going to wake up one day and be like, you know what? I'm just going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. Or I'm just going to. I'm going to get better at relieving myself. That's what a lot of them going to wake up and say. And then that's when that day is coming where seven women going to take hold of one man saying, we'll work. We'll take care of ourselves. We just want to be called by your name. Just let us be in your staple. That day is coming. See, right now, all the little government stuff, all this stuff, you got, the, you got the advantage. But the day is going to come where somebody going to get in that politic and they're going to change it all. They're going to legalize polygyny. They're going to change the family court laws. It's not going to always be in your favor. Isaiah, always remember this about the scripture. Anybody that's telling you the Bible is completely a fairy tale, that is a fool. Every day the Bible comes to pass. Now, everything in there may not be the truth. But the majority of it is, and there's enough truth in there where you should read it, you should believe it, you should understand it. And that's all I'm going to say on this. Isaiah 4 and 1 is coming. You ladies better be ready for it. You're going to get left behind. And those of you who are too stubborn think you're delusional, you're overriding yourself, get your cat food ready. You better get you some pets because you ain't going to have no company you keep on. Thanks for watching. This is Prophet Howard, a.k.a. The Truth Man. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe.